Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to locate and clean up unlinked people in Roots Magic 3. And first, we need to get a list of the people in this database file that are unlinked or um, don't have connections to other people. And so we'll find that on the Reports menu. If we, if we click here on Reports one time, and down to Lists, click that once. Within here, there's this Lists selection and yours may not be expanded. Um, it may look like this. If, it, if it's not expanded you can just click on this little uh, circle with a plus and that will open it up. Within there you'll find this list that says individual list and here we would just select that one time. Within here there are many options uh, within this radio button group but the one we're interested in is this last one that reads unlinked. People not linked to anyone else. So if we select that um, that'll move the dot down, so that's going to be selected. I like including all the facts because I like to be able to look right at the, the information about that person and see kind of what I know about them. So I'm going to click the Create button down here, and that's going to open up a little report. And we can see we've got a host of people in here in this database file that um, are not connected to anyone else. And uh, many of these look familiar to me. I'm just going to uh, demonstrate one of these, but you're going to want to go through each of these people and figure out what's going on, whether they're um, just someone that you started doing some research on and they never really did connect in and they sh shouldn't be there at all and you're just going to delete them, or um, what, what commonly happens, I find, is that they're actually duplicates of other people. So I'm going to show you this one, this Grace Sayer. So we now know we're going to start working on this one, so you probably want to print this list off um, or save it off somehow so you can, you can reference it and work through that list. I'm going to start here with the fourth one, though, with Grace Sayer, and that was record number 308. So let's close this just to get it out of the way here, and we'll cancel this. So there are a couple ways we can go about looking um, to see if this person, if that person record was a duplicate. Um, one of them was on that report's uh, list selection. So let's go back into here. And there's a duplicates list option here. So we can just click that guy once. And if we just click create, we'll see that um, Grace Sayer with the record ID 308 um, does show up on there as a duplicate with of Grace 383. Um, same birth information as far as the, time, the date. Um, all we have for either one of them is the year. So it looks like that, that person's a duplicate. Um, you may want to just cut to the chase if you're going to look for duplicates and go right here to the Tools menu. If you click there one time, one of your options here is Merge, and you can select this Duplicate Search slash Merge Selection. If you do that, then you can... Um, it's, basic, it's doing basically the same search as that, that report, that list option for duplicates on the Reports menu, um, but it all gives you a little more power actually a lot more power because from there you can edit either record, you can merge them, you can you can do things like that. So once we've got um, that selected we can click search for duplicates. Now you can make the criteria for um, identifying duplicates as duplicates a little less stringent than it is right now. Um, right now the names have to be spelled the same and um, the birth dates and places have to match. So that's a little, you may not want it to be exactly that stringent. So you might want to uncheck some of these if you're not finding some of them as duplicates. Um, but in this case, I know that when I search for duplicates, it's going to find that Grace Sayer. So this is just warning you that when you do these kinds of things, merging, then you're going to want to create a data backup of your database before you do that. Um, so I definitely recommend you do that. In this case, this is just an import from a GEDCOM that I knew had some some issues like this in it that I wanted to use for this example, so I'm not actually going to back mine up. Okay, so here we find that it, it's located for people that are that are, have duplicate records. So in this case, the second one is Grace Sayer with a record ID 308. Matches with 383 like we saw on the report. So we can look down here now at these records and see what information we have for one that we may not have for the other. And here we can see we have a, a birth place, and here we have no birth place information. But other than that, the death information is the same, the death date information is the same, the gender is the same. Um, this duplicate of it has a uh, 
family that it's linked to, which is why it, the record 383 was not listed on the unlinked report. So we want to we want to merge these things. So we can choose which one of these we want to be the one that gets merged into the other. Uh, so in this case, the duplicate record um, is going, which is 383, is going to merge into this one. If we, for some reason we wanted it to go the other way, um, if we were sensitive to the record numbers or something like that, you can click this swap button up here. And if you if you watch down there while I do this, um, you'll see that they just swapped places so that the one with the family links uh, but lacking the birthplace um, switched to, to the primary. So now that we have them where we want them, we can simply click Merge the Highlighted Pair button up here. So um, this one's highlighted. So when we do that, it's now going to show that duplicate record is now merged. So that's all in this one record. And we can see the place went in there, and we can also see the family went in there. But there's a little bit of cleanup we need to do here because this birth event is now repeated. It took that birth event from the duplicated record because it was different, um, different in that the place was not given on this one, and it added it as an event on this record. So we're going to want to go up here to this primary button, edit primary button, so you can see this is the primary record, this was the duplicate. We're going to edit the primary record, and we're just going to get rid of this birth fact. So I'm going to click Delete there, and then yes, I delete the highlighted fact. And when we press OK there, we now have that merged record. And if we go back up here to the lists, and I show you that individuals list again, and we do unlinked people, you'll see that Gray Sayer is no longer listed. So you want to do uh, similar types of investigation for anyone on your unlinked list and see whether... Um, their duplicates or or what other may other thing may have caused them to be um, unlinked and clean them up.